First and foremost, I would like to thank uh, uh, the senior council, His Excellency, the former vice president, Kaloso Mshoka, together with the former CS, Eugene Wamalwa, and my brother, uh, Mushimiwa MP Mbakasi East, Honorable Babu Owino, together with the Senator of Nairobi and the council from uh, Otienda Molos. Um, secondly, I want to really thank the Kenyans who came out to uh, talk about this issue. Because were it not for the, for the people who took the video and for the video to be viral, maybe I would have lost my life. Because the way they did it, it was not a normal arrest. I was abducted. And I saw, I was watching on TV yesterday, when the president said, when you are summoned and then you fail to, 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 to uh, honor the summons, that is when you are arrested in the manner that I was arrested. But I was not arrested, I was abducted. There were no summons. I was never summoned. The first time I got to understand that I had issues to which they wanted to label against me or the raising allegations is when I got here. I didn't know. They were on a private car with a private number plate, wearing uh, on civilian with masks, you, so you could not discriminate, or I mean, you cannot differentiate between the criminals and the DCI officers, which in this 21st century, I think that is something that the DCI must address, because how about in future where criminals will take advantage? Because the DCI officers can go with private cars, with private number plates, Fake number plates, actually, because we have confirmed that was a fake number plate. There is a citizen, a civilian, who is claiming that is his number plate. So we need to know, how do you use a fake number plate on civilian with a mask? How will we identify you as a police officer? And they, they are not even coming to say we are police officers from so well known. They just abducted me that way. And they were beating me up, trying to say that uh, you, you've been uh, against government. And then the questions that I was asked, one of it is my relationship with the former president, Uru Kenyatta, and my relationship with the current deputy president. And then issues to do with arms from Congo. I think it is a movie. But uh, <laughs> let us allow it to, to go as per the law. But generally, don't intimidate us into silence. We know the issue is about, we are raising issues concerning the concern by the many Kenyans on finance bills, the cost of living, and the many promises they made. We didn't, we didn't make them to make the promises. And you know the problem with them, they always lie. And instead, of, they're actually the problem. We are not the problem. And I've seen Senator uh, Sivuna spoke about this issue many times, saying that it's overwhelming for the oppos opposition to handle the issues that they are raising. Because every day, including yesterday, the president lied like 100 times. We don't know where to start. So generally, we cannot be silenced because we are raising issues of concern. It spoke about many lies yesterday, including a child who was, uh, 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 he was um, shot with uh, over eight bullets, and he was telling Kenyans that he's not aware whether he's still living or not. He does not know. And some crim criminals, again, took advantage and grabbed guns from uh, police and started shooting on civilians. Now the, the, and he was not even apologetic. We were expecting him to say, let me uh, condole with the families who have lost their loved ones. Let me feel with the families, the mothers who are crying. We've seen on TV the grandmother from uh, Kidurai and the other one from, uh, from Rongai, who, are, who have lost their... Rex's mother, who, who is meant to bury uh, this Friday. You can imagine burying your children. And they are saying, these are criminals who died. We, we want to... to, 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 to to talk about these issues and you are trying to intimidate us into silence. We will not be silent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great. Anything, I, uh, I just wanted to... Honorable has requested uh, the family yeah, friend. Yeah, the issues that are surrounding my children. Okay. Let me mention but a few. This morning, my young kid, six-year-old, asked me a question that is so fundamental and I think the DCI and the police force must really address it. Because they were telling me, why didn't you report this case to the police on this who abducted you? And I didn't answer that question. I think the DCI should take the responsibility because in the manner they abducted my children, they abducted me in the presence, in the 
of, uh, of my children and my wife, it is so wrong. Like the way Sivuna has said, and uh, His Excellency Kaloso Mushoka has said, and repeated by uh, former Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa, we respect the law. Just someone else will appear the way we appear this morning. And I think make it in a manner that you don't have to involve our families so that it, you, you want to bring us down emotionally completely to finish us so that we, uh, we, are, we, we are silenced forever. I think it was wrong. My children are traumatized. They didn't sleep last night. Uh, they've been taken to hospital because they have to meet, uh, they have to go through a, a counseling process. Uh, my kids are, are very close with uh, Kisia's uh, children and they were together yesterday. Let me, let me allow him to say but a few. Thank you. Just a few. Ventura.